Hey you guys, this is the Thrift Store Rundown, bringing Hollywood home on a budget. The ready is going off right now in the studio, and it's a huge mess, and it's been a while since I broke out the camera and tripod. A long while. But, I think this is worth it. This is USPS Priority Mail. This comes to us from the Literary Shop in Medley, Florida. This is the package that I got from Amazon that I'm most excited about. It's been nearly three weeks since I ordered this package. Now the toughest part is having to open it without destroying it. Well, I guess ripping the top is actually a cinch. Let's just... Ooh, that's my address. I think you already saw my address. Can't show you that again. I'm just gonna rip this top apart. Don't even care about the tape right now. I am too ecstatic. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's been weeks since I was able to get this. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh my. I'm going to open now the wrapping. Take it out without trying to damage the book. Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy! Get all this out of the way. This is garbage. I need to clean up this studio. It's a little small. Okay. This is from the Literary Shop in Medley, Florida. It should be a small business. You know I support small business. After all, we should give them big business. This is the book that I have been waiting for since I was a child. And this is the receipt that's covering the cover. On three, we reveal it. One, two, three! No! Oh my! The book is here! The book is here! The book is here! This is my favorite childhood TV show! Oh, my childhood! It's come back! It's come back! It's come back! The Blind Date Guide to Dating. Forward by host Roger Lodge. Author Frank Thompson, one of the show's producers. I have looked this up on Amazon, and it was love at first sight. That I really can't say for most of the couples who were featured on this show. This was my favorite childhood TV show. And now it's here in book form. I am over the moon! I wanted this ever since I saw it when I was a little little kid. And now it's here. I ordered this on January 9th. The first time it said it was delivered to the house, it never came. Actually, it came, but it was in cardboard corrugated packaging. And I saw one very similar to the ones I looked on Google Images. And it was in a clear, translucent, plastic trash bag, outside from the studio. When I went downstairs to look at it, it was already gone. So, my luck ran out there. So I got a refund for it. Um, the person who sold that was Ambus Enterprises, Benton Harbor, Michigan. They tried their best, I just wasn't observant enough. Anyway, I got a refund. And I used the refund to reorder a book from the different seller, and that would be the literary shop again of Medley, Florida. I chose expedited shipping. A little more costly, but you do not know how much this show meant, meant to me. This was my favorite childhood TV show. This cured whatever emotionally ailed me. If I felt low, if I felt depressed or anxious or sad or mad, I usually turn on the television, whether it be Channel 11, 
And here the tri-state area that would be WB11 or the CW11 as it is known now. Or UPN9. Of course now it's my 9. Or on Spike, which is now the Paramount Network. Any of those three networks, Carry Blind Date, I was watching. And I watched without fail. Everything about the show was straight fire. By the way, all urban teen slang terms will be credited to a guy named Marlo Parker. You're welcome, Marlo. Anyway, everything about the show just worked. The funny thought bubbles, the graphics, the countdowns to the meltdowns, Therapist Joe, Betty Etiquette, the theme music, my favorite theme song of all time, and of course, the man at the helm of it all, Roger Lodge who hosted the show like no one else ever could. And now, it's finally here. It may never come back to TV, but at least I have the book. I don't usually get this excited about books, unless you darn well know it's Pretty Little Liars. And I'll tell you this much, Pretty Little Liars? actually inspired me to get an Amazon gift card and start my Amazon account in the first place. And you already saw those unboxings. I'll leave them below in the description. You can watch them. Meanwhile, I'm trying to find my phone because I want to show you something extra special. I want to share something cool with you. This is the Nosy app. With this app, you can watch your favorite daytime shows. Whether they be talk shows like Maury, Steve, or Jerry, the unholy trifecta of NBC Universal, or should we say unholy quadfecta if Trissa is on the show, or you can watch Cheaters, another really terrific show, old talk shows like uh, Sally Jesse Raphael, Crazy Talk, one of the newcomers, Gerardo, the Joan Rivers show, you like court shows? They got them. Nosey has them. Judge Alex, Texas Justice, Christina's Court, and Fraternity Court, with Christina's Court being the sole Emmy winner of them all. You can watch movies on here. You can even watch game shows. Family Feud, Match Game, Press Your Luck, To Tell the Truth, or Carter Sox. As far as reality goes, you can watch Funniest Pets and People, Cheetahs, again. The Fifth Wheel, a blind date spinoff hosted by Aisha Tyler. American Gladiators, that's a reality competition show. But this show, my friends, is the sole reason why I installed this app in the first place. And by the way, this app is free to install. Today on Blind Date. Well, oh, that takes me back. I'll tell you this much. It's a little bit spotty to watch with the visuals, but the audio is quite good, and sometimes it buffers. But the fact that Nosey has Blind Date, you can watch this show on the go. If it didn't have that show, I would not have downloaded this. Um, if you are a person who likes the visuals to be smooth, you may have to give this app some patience, but I'm telling you, if you are a religious Blind Date fan like I am, you're going to want to download this app. It is the only way you can watch Blind Date on the go, unless, of course, you watch all of the dates, like 60 minutes worth of dates in, like, six consecutive, consecutive collections on YouTube. Best. Now I'm pretty excited about this, because, you know, I've never had, like, a threesome. It all begins now! You may have to give this some patience, otherwise, uh, you are not going to like the app. But if you don't mind the visual being frozen, to be honest with you, I mind it a little bit. I'm just only demonstrating because this takes me back. I'm telling you, this app is definitely something you need on your phone. And I'll leave a link for this too. Wait, whoa, 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 can I take off my on blind date? Childhood. Ooh. Roger Lodge and welcome to Blind Date, where people get together one dysfunctional moment at a time. And speaking of which, we'll be checking out a date from hell a little bit later on. Oh, yeehaw! Everything about this show just worked. The hot tub moments, the dates from hell, 
those are always the most fun. Um, the rejections early on, boy, it's just the worst of memories coming back to me. I finally have this book, and I finally have one of the most important parts of my childhood, television viewing habits, finally home in paperback. I would have preferred hardcover, but at least you know what you're getting. And at least this is published in the mass market, the paperback copy. The Blind Date Guide to Dating. That's all I'm going to say on that because I don't want to get too deep into this uh, book until Valentine's Day. And I'll tell you this much. January may not have been the best month for this YouTube channel, but I promise you I'll make it up to you in February. And we're going to do that with the Valentine's Day 2-in-1. Why 2-in-1? Because the Blind Date Guide to Dating is a perfect way to get a laugh on Valentine's Day. Should you use this as an actual guide to dating, God help you. This is satirical. But it does make some good points. But, like I said, I'm going to save that for the Valentine's Day video. Two on one. Blind date. And... Dun, 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 dun! My Valentine! The love of my life, Troy and Felicario! Seventeen Magazine. Another Amazon delivery. So that will be your Valentine's Day two in one video. It's definitely something I have to film a day ahead, because this is not going to be any time to film the day of. So there you go. That will be the Valentine's Day 2-in-1 video, February 14th. And I really do hope I can come back strong in February. But in the meantime, I don't know about you and how you spend your Friday, but I'm going to spend it perusing through... Perhaps what might be my favorite book ever. And the book that's currently holding the top spot is the pop-up book of celebrity meltdowns. Again, the link will be provided in the description. But this just might take the cake. Wadda Lodge, do you have any idea how much I adore this show? Send this video to Wadda Lodge. He has a Twitter account. But in the meantime, I'm reading this book and getting acquainted with the love of my life. I have nothing more to say. Just thank you, Literary Shop. Thank you, Amazon. And thank you, each and every one of you. Thank you all so much for watching the Thrift Store Rundown, Breeding Hollywood Home, on a budget. I hope your weekend is more spectacular than mine because... Your weekend doesn't really stand a chance against mine. Cuddling up with, by the fire and this book. Uh, I'm speechless. I gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye.